subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In a proud moment for all of us, Vikrant, that is India's first indigenous aircraft carrier, also known as the IAC-1, began its sea trials on Wednesday. The sea trial is expected to be completed in a year and the ship is likely to be commissioned into the Eastern Naval Command as INS Vikrant by mid-2022. The Navy in a tweet said that the day was proud and historic for India as the reincarnated Vikrant sails for the maiden sea trials in the 50th year of her illustrious predecessor's key role in victory in the 1971 war. To go back into history, Vikrant was commissioned as the first aircraft carrier of the Indian Navy and played a very critical role in enforcing the naval blockade of East Pakistan during the Indo-Pakistan War of 1971. In its later years, the ship underwent major refits to embark modern aircraft before being finally decommissioned in 1997, that is January 1997. Rumor that India had purchased the incomplete carrier in 1957 and the construction was completed in 1961 by the Brits. Now coming back to the IAC-1, this is a rupees 24,000 crore project that has been hit by delays. While the original targeted year of commissioning was 2018, COVID pandemic contributed to the delay later. The Vikrant had successfully completed the basin trial in November 2020, during which the propulsion and the power generation systems of the ship in the harbour were tested. Following the trial, that is, the basin trial, the integration of a number of other navigational, communication and operational systems were undertaken on board the Vikrant. Though the ship was slated for sea trials earlier this year, it got delayed due to the COVID-induced lockdowns and quarantine measures for the naval officers and experts coming in from abroad. The focus of the sea trials would be on the move component of the ship to see how the vessel fares in the water. Now just let's try and talk about the history of the ISC-1. Though the original plans for the ship was floated in 1989, the design work began fresh in 1999 after the then Defence Minister George Fernandez greenlighted the project that had been stuck due to a number of reasons, including financial resources. The keel of the ship was laid in February 2009. It was floated out of its dry dock in December 2011 and was launched on 12th August 2013. It has been designed by the Indian Navy's Directorate of Naval Design, that is DND, and is being built at the Cochin Shipyard Limited. The ISC is going to be a very potent aircraft. It is 262 meters long and 62 meters wide and has a stow bar, that is short takeoff but arrested recovery configuration with a ski jump capability. Once commissioned, INS Vikrant would be the most deadly sea based asset of the Indian Navy. The carrier would have on board about 35 to 40 aircraft. It is a mix of naval fighters, anti-submarine helicopters and naval UAVs, that is unmanned aerial vehicles. The aircraft component includes the MiG-29K fighters, the Kamov-31 air early warning helicopters and of course the soon to be inducted MH-60R multi-role helicopters and the indigenous advanced light helicopters. Besides having four Otomalara 76mm dual purpose cannons, the INS Vikrant is also equipped with four AK-630 close-in weapon systems. It also has 32 cell VLS, that is 
vertical launch system capable of firing 64 missiles in total. It is equipped with the Israeli Barak-1 surface-to-air missiles for short range and of course the Barak-8 for long range defense against aerial threats including fighters, helicopters, drones and missiles. For the print, this is Snehish Alex Philip. Do subscribe to our Prince YouTube channel for more such videos.